Hey all, instead of hey everybody, as I seem to keep starting all my videos with the hey everybody, hey all, <laughs> welcome back to another video. Today we're going to play a very fun and interesting deck. Yeah, I really like the the nice winter swirls happening here in the main menu. I'm going to keep talking until it happens again. Um, been playing this really fun, there it is. Been playing this really fun deck. I've seen a lot of other content creators play it, and it is a definitely a deck that has it Take, takes a lot of practice to play. So it's this Fire Druid deck. Um, basically what you're trying to do is play Thaddeus. Now there's ways of cheating him out a couple turns earlier with Nightshade Bud. Um, so you play your Thaddeus and then you want to make copies of it with Cover Artist. So you play one or two of them. And basically you want your even cards to be discounted by four. So to get Thaddeus out... And for him to, or to ensure that he's discounting your even cards, you need to pull him out on an odd turn. So you have to kind of keep track of your turn count throughout the game, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, especially if he's stuck in your deck and you don't have him in your hand, and you kind of, you don't really have to guess, but you have to keep track of your turn count. So when you play Nightshade Bud, you need to make sure you're doing it on an, on an even turn. Sorry, on an odd turn to make sure he's discounting even cards. So anyways, let's backtrack. When Thaddeus comes out, you want to play Cover Artist on him. Ideally, you have two of them because the effect of Thaddeus stacks. So if you have two, then your even cards are discounted by eight. If you play two of them, like, sorry, if you have two Thaddeus, it's discounted by eight. If you have a third Thaddeus, again, with the Cover Artist, then your cards are discounted by 12 and you can play anything. But what do you do with all this discount? Well, Power Technician is an even card. And you can now basically play a bunch of spells for free and you keep generating more fire spells now it gets a little complicated because you may be generating odd cost spells which don't get discounted so what you can try to do which you don't often have the opportunity to do so but what you can try to do is play a life binders gift which will reduce the cost of all those odd spells by one and then they become even then you can continue to play them but typically you try to survive till you have a Nightshade Bud ready to go. Obviously, you'll need, um, uh, where is it, Cover Artist in your hand to be able to pull off the combo. Uh, thankfully, if you need to stall a bit, you can Nightshade Bud and pull out an ENR, or you can even ENR the turn that you have Thaddeus out, assuming you have three discounts. Or even if you only have two discounts uh, with Thaddeus, meaning ENR would cost two less. Sometimes you have two mana left over, or... You can even Funnel Cake to regenerate three mana. So th there's a lot of lines of play. That's why this deck is pretty complicated. Um, and even your turn leading up to your combo, you have to survive. And a lot of times you end up playing a ton of cards on your Thaddeus turn. And a lot of cards at first I didn't recognize because they were just there's the random fire card that nobody ever plays. So there's that learning curve as well. But a lot of combos or a lot of wins have been I play Solar Eclipse into Power Blast, which is 20 damage from hand, which is really funny. So anyways, enough talking. I'll try to walk you guys through everything. Because uh, I've been trying to learn this deck. It's funny. I was back down to 300 rating using Paladin. And then I was like, you know what? I'm kind of bored of the Paladin deck. Let's try playing this deck. And then... Or not this deck. I was playing a bunch of fun decks. Went back up to 2k. Then I was like, yeah, I don't want to be at 2k MMR anymore. I want to go back down to about 300. So I played more Paladin. Went back. That's how powerful the Paladin deck is right now. Went back down to about 300. No, about 480. And then again, I got bored of it. And then now I was like, you know what? I want to try to get really good at this Fire Druid deck. So I know long intro. Four minute intro. Kind of have to walk you guys through it a little bit. So there's a bit of context to the plays. Especially if you haven't seen this deck at all before. It's, uh, it's pretty convoluted. <laughs> All right. So if this is a Plague DK, it's, they apply a lot of pressure. If it's blood, typically you can just take your time. So you want to find ramp, but Cover Artist is one of the key pieces that you need to make sure you have in your hand. I don't feel it's right to keep him, so I am going to chuck it. Um, so his effect is a battle cry, so you need to have him in your hand. But the power technician, okay, there's one. But power technician, you can actually pull out from or with a nightshade bulb, um, because it's not a battle cry effect, and you can do that on your Thaddeus turn. All right, so here I just like getting draw. It's between Astalor and Dalnos, but Dalnos and you know, it's all about drawing in the early game.
All right, so what I like to do, you guys are gonna see this. I'm gonna open up a notepad. <clears throat> so it's, it's gonna be in the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm gonna zoom in. So now we're on turn two. And like, it might seem obvious, just look at the mana crystals. But if you start ramping, sometimes it's easy to lose track. Um, and you don't want to get mixed up. So I went first. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's just keep an eye on this. So I have three different choose one, cho uh, choose one card. So this doesn't guarantee nourish. It can be Lightbinder's Gift. Obviously, I have one in my hand. So it's only one other chance of getting that. Um, or it can be the Nourish, or it can be the Nightshade Buds. You can play Thalmos. Let's just keep drawing. Alright, so next turn I'm going to be on 3. And again, I'm keeping track of this because I can only do the combo on an odd turn. So sometimes you get your combo, but you're on an even turn, and you can't pop off, so then you got to stall uh, for a whole other turn, which is annoying. Which is probably the worst feeling with this deck. If you have your combo ready to go, but you're on the wrong turn, and you can't do it. Okay, drawing ENR is not great. Usually you like to cheat her out with Nightshade Bulb. Okay, so if... Hmm. I could discount some cards in my hand. I don't want to float too much mana. Huh. What if? Let's do that. So I could innervate to play it. I could innervate and then discard the card. Uh, not discard, discount the cards in my hand. There's a lot of lines of play. He's not pressuring me too much here, so I don't really want to just use an innervate because I may need it. So now, he has the coin, I believe. Yeah, so this is his turn three. So I'm going to be on turn four. Let's keep track of that. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? So I'm looking for Nightshade Buds. I think I used to call it Nightshade Bulb. I thought that's what it was, but Nightshade Bud. Oops. <laughs> looking for Nightshade Bud. Nourishes would be nice, and then some Cover Artist. But for the combo, yeah, it's, it's Cover Artist and Nightshade Bud. Okay. I'm on turn four. He summons an unholy thing on his side of the board. Okay. So here, I think I'm going to discount the cards in my hand. And then wild growth. Okay. So next turn, I'm going to be on five. Another way of keeping track is just looking at your turn count, but then subtracting the amount that you've ramped. So now I have only Wild Growth, I haven't Nourished. So I'll be on 6 mana, but we know I cheated at 1 mana, so I should be at 5. Or it'll be, it's turn 5. Right, shuffling a lot of junk into my deck. Oh man, he's very aggressive. Yeah, and it sucks that I drew Enar, because I can't cheat her out on 8. Frost Plague, okay. If I draw Nourish with this. Okay, Nourish is good. Innervate one of these and draw a bunch. Seedling is good for healing. Man, I'm just drawing plagues. There's a cover artist. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to reduce the cards in my hand again. I mean, he may be able to kill me. He's used a lot of his aggressive cards already. 
Um, if I reduce the cards in my hand... Let's see. Honestly, I think I'm just going to... Hero Power. And the next turn I can Innervate and go back to full health. I think that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to be on turn 6 next turn. And you can always try to pop off. You don't need necessarily both cover artists and both part technicians. <coughs> He's got 6, 7, so he needs 5 damage from hand. But he's used 2 down with the ships already. I'm not too scared. The Citadel stands Good. Are there f <clears throat> more frost plagues in the deck? I don't think so. Okay, good. The more, honestly, the more I draw right now, the better. Cool. So let's innervate her. Start my hero to full health. So <clears throat> I can funnel cake. Funnel Cake gives me back two mana. Then I can reduce cards in my hand. I just don't see really a point to that. I'm just going to try to save this for the... The, the, uh, the Thaddeus turn. <clears throat> Which I'm obviously still missing Thaddeus. Uh, so I, I will be on turn 7. So if I draw Thaddeus or Nightshade Bud, I can try to do the combo. And I have some decent draw. So I may actually do it. Cause I have some odd cards, but if I Lifebinder's Gift, they're all going to become even. Which is very nice. Pick me, pick me. Flake Strike. Okay, so he for sure he can kill this, which is fine. It was just meant to stall one turn. It's rare that this lives for two turns. Ooh, okay. Nourish. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Now I gotta wait a whole other turn, which is definitely not good. So I'm gonna have to Solar Eclipse. I wish this was one more turn. Yeah, like I wish it was, it had blossomed already. Um, hmm. I'm gonna need some damage for this. I'm gonna reduce cards in my hand by one. No, I wanna I really wanna keep that for the the big turn. I was hoping for like a lunar eclipse. Unholy plague. Of course, there's the Thaddeus. A couple turns too late, my friend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add two random nature spells and hopefully I hit some AoE. Ooh, that is nice. Just nature? Yeah. That's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna play this though for some board presence. Okay. That was some good stall. Now I don't need to keep track of the turns anymore because he's in my hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. This isn't a lot of pressure. It's what I want to see. Now I'm just going to draw as many cards as I can. And I'm looking for my second cover artist. That's basically all I need. Good that he hasn't played Helia yet. There's only two more Blood Plagues in my deck, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, well, I can still kill his 4-1. 
So now he's odd. I'm going to keep aquatic form because you want to keep even cards uh, for your Thaddeus turn. Let's go ahead and draw three. No cover artist. Ugh. Go planted evidence. I mean, that's an even card. Due process, it's no, not a good idea. This game. Convoke's too risky. You end up drawing way too much. Let's go with this. And then I can Lunar Eclipse on this. Cheapen the Wild Growth. I can draw her again. These are free. Even cards. I think I want to draw. There's the cover artist. Okay, so we are good to pop off next turn. Just need to not die. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully he doesn't mess with anything I try to do. I'm trying to think what he can do that'll really mess me up. But I've got nothing on board for him to interact with. I'm going to Aquatic Form to try to find Nightshade Bud to pull out the next Power Technician, or I can just find the Power Technician, so there's pretty high chances of finding it. Or another Aquatic Form, but I'm going to have to go fast. That's the thing, on your pop-off turn, you have to go fast. You got to cue that, like, fast, fast, or gas, gas, gas music. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, cover artist. Cover artist. Power technician. Get some mana back. Heat wave, just start killing his board. Sure. Let's do this. I do want the other power technician. Uh, bud. Okay. I just need to draw one. Uh, okay, let's do this. I'm going very slow. That I don't want to play. I can do this into the power tech, or the bud, I mean. This finds me the power technician. Go, 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 go. This needs to find me an even spell. Aye, aye, aye. Give me some even spells. I'm only generating odd. Come on. That's a good one. Keep going. That's good. Go, go, go. Oh, that's a really good one. Got a gun attack in time, man. No, there's the pyroblast. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucked. I was going too slow. <sighs> Dang. So that's kind of the combo. Typically you try to OTK them when you do it, but yeah. Then I'm cutting it to his turn, which is kind of funny. I don't know if the Hearthstone team or Blizzard has made any updates to... Oh. Oh, I burnt it. That's good. I'm sure he's got his reborn zombie that can charge. And it costs nothing, right? Wait, can he not kill this? There's no way. None of my odd cards are going to be cheap. <laughs> okay, well, that wasn't a perfect finish, but that's the game. That's the deck. It's kind of funny. I'm going to keep doing more and more games with this. I'm trying to get better at it. I'm trying to be faster on the pop-off turns, on the Thaddeus turns. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, you guys saw the, the deck list, um, or not the deck list, the, the, well, 
you saw the, the cards in the deck, but I'll put the deck list in the comments if you guys want to try it out. It's not an easy deck to play. A lot of things to consider, but it is a lot of fun if you get to pull off the combo. So if you liked the video, give it a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Maybe I'll be able to answer them. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, subscribe if you, if you enjoy this kind of content. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out. See ya.